Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to set up and export your Procreate drawing. First up, you need your iPad and your Procreate app, and you're going to hit the plus sign to create a new canvas. I have a 12 by 12 sheet that I like to use often. Right now it has, it's blank, so if I want to add, add grid to it, add a grid to it rather, I'm going to hit the toolbar or the tool icon and then go to drawing guide, turn it on, and then I like to edit the drawing guide because it currently it's, there's not too many um, squares to use and for interior design you want to use more squares. Alright so on the bottom where it says grid size you can click on the pixels and then I change it to 75 and hit done and then done completely with that editing and I have a lot of smaller squares for my 12 by 12 sheet of paper. Now once you're done drawing it, you may want to send it out with the grid underneath. Um, now if you export it, it's not going to show the grid underneath. So if you need to see the grid underneath, you need to go ahead and screenshot it. That way you can see the grid and the drawing and see the scale that you're working in. Now the problem with that is if you're using this for a presentation format and you need something with higher resolution, it won't look as good. So in that case, you need to export it in the traditional method. And the way to do that is to go to the tool icon, choose the share and then JPEG, and then it, it will export it to wherever it is that you want it to be, um, whether it's airdrop to your computer or you know your phone or whatever it is that you're using to finish off your presentation. And then it will be done. It'll say export successful and you're all done. And you will have a high resolution image to use for your presentation. So it won't have the grid behind it. It'll look something like this, but it will be a lot more um, better quality image quality than your screenshots. Well, I hope that helped you and I will see you next time.